Today's quick tip is multiple audio tracks from OBS. And this works for OBS and Streamlabs. So let's move to a scene that has three audio tracks. And let's say we wanna split these up because maybe we have one mic that is really good quality, one mic that's okay, but it's like a backup. We have some audio playing in the background. We have the desktop, we have the camera audio, and we don't want all of these mixed together we want them to be separate so that we can pull them apart and use only the ones that are the best or we want to move the music audio down because it was actually too loud maybe during the stream and now we're doing a record or something like that. So let's figure out how to do this because you can and it's very, very powerful. If we come over here, we click on the gear and click on advanced audio properties. It opens this up. Now there's a lot you can do inside of here but we wanna look at tracks. So right now, all of the tracks are selected for everything. And when you record or when you stream, you can actually select which tracks you want which audio files to be on. So I'm gonna unselect these from all of them over here. The first one I'm gonna leave on track one. Then for the desktop audio, I'll put on track two. And for the mic, I'll put on track three. Click close. Now let's go to settings. Let's go to output. And now we have to move from output mode simple to advanced if you're not there already. And I'll click on recording. And now we can click on which tracks we want to have. So I'll click on one, two, and three. Now we're gonna have three separate audio tracks for this one video file. I'll go ahead and start recording. Hey there, this is Aaron and I'm recording. Stop, remuxing to MP4, and then navigate to where you've got your recording at, which mine is just in my video folder, and it's right here. Double click on it. You can see that this is what I was doing, but there's actually no audio coming through on that right now. And that's because with VLC at least, I can choose separate audio tracks. So if I right click, go to audio and audio track, I now have three separate tracks. If I go back to track three and I press play, this is Aaron and I'm recording. There you go. Now we have three separate audio tracks. So when you bring it into your editing program, it will show up as three different audio tracks, which is really, really neat. One thing to note is that if you're using an external mic and then you try to synchronize inside of Adobe Premiere, sometimes these multiple audio tracks can cause issues. So definitely have some kind of sync noise that you start with that you have going on both. That's just something that I've had to do. But other than that, Multiple audio tracks is fantastic and something I use in every single video. And that's it. If you have any tips and tricks that you're using, definitely let me know in the comments below and I might make a video about them. If you have any questions about OBS or want to see any other features covered, let me know. As always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.